Now we know the draft order for the 2024 OHL priority selection. The league held its OHL draft lottery last night. Going into it, four teams were eligible to win that first overall pick. The Niagara Ice Dogs, they had the best odds at 40%. The Windsor Spitfires had a 30% chance. Peterborough had a 20%. And the Sarnia Sting, a 10% chance of winning the first overall selection. And coming into it, this is the third straight year the Niagara Ice Dogs had the best odds of winning the OHL Draft Lottery. And uh, for Niagara Ice Dogs fans, well, it's bad news. They did not win the Draft Lottery this season. It was the Windsor Spitfires who took the number one draft selection. And this is actually the first time that Windsor has held the first overall pick since 1976. The Spitfires that year... They selected Jim Fox first overall. However, he ended up playing with the Ottawa 67s in the Ontario Hockey League. Never suited up for Windsor, despite being selected first overall. So at this point, it's still unknown as to who, in fact, will be the first overall pick. Uh, the candidates, though, it sounds like uh, Ethan Belchett, Adam Valentini, and Brady Wasselin. Uh, those, one of those three could have their name called uh, on uh, the draft day. So it's going to be fascinating to see how the draft all plays out. And if you're a Barry Colts fan, they are selecting fifth overall. So good news for the Barry Colts. Uh, but it is an interesting situation because this is a, a deep draft from uh, what it sounds like. I know the OHL Cup is taking place right now. I haven't been able to follow it all that much. So I'm hoping to have an interview with somebody uh, soon so we can uh, do a little bit more of a deep dive in regards to the prospects uh, that could be suiting up in the Ontario Hockey League as early as next season. So big congrats to the Windsor Spitfires in winning the first overall pick. And then after that, they then drafted the second overall selection, and it ended up being the Sarnia Sting, who had the fourth best odds of winning the draft lottery. They move up to number two. So it's uh, very interesting that you have uh, the Windsor Spitfires and the Sarnia Sting, who are both in the West Division, they're going to pick one, two. So that's just adds to that rivalry because the Spitfires and the Sting, uh, they do have a, a deep rivalry uh, between those two teams. And it's going to be interesting to see how these two picks uh, play out over these next few seasons. So those were the top two picks. And then uh, the Peterborough Peets, they're going to select third overall. So no change for them. But the biggest surprise, the Niagara Ice Dogs, who had the best odds of winning the draft lottery, they fall all the way to fourth. So for Ice Dog fans, some more disappointment, kind of salt in the wound, sort of speak. Uh, but to, despite them falling to fourth, as I mentioned, this is a, a pretty deep OHL draft from what I've been reading and what I've been hearing. Uh, so the Niagara Ice Dogs should still get a pretty good pick at number four. But still, I feel bad for Niagara because last year they had the best odds. They fell to number two. So the Erie Otters ended up selecting Matthew Schaefer. And then in 2022, they had the best odds, and they fell to fourth overall. And in that draft, it was Michael Misa. So could you imagine if they could have had Misa on this team and how that would have changed basically the look of the league? Because, of course, the Saginaw Spirit, they have Michael Misa now, and they're going to host the Memorial Cup. And you have to kind of wonder, with that player with this exceptional status, uh, is that why they ended up getting kind of the inside track on the Memorial Cup? I don't want to start speculation or rumors, but... Uh, you have to wonder, like, how the fortunes would have been different for the two hockey clubs. Obviously, Niagara, they bid on the Memorial Cup last year and fell short in that process. Uh, but uh, for the Ice Dogs, they did pick Sam Dickinson for th fourth overall in that 2022 draft. That didn't work out. He ended up being traded to the London Knights. Now, the uh, Ice Dogs, they did get a compulsory pick as a result, which ended up being uh, Zada, uh, who's fit in quite nicely with the Ice Dogs. He's picked fourth, fifth overall last year. And of course, uh, with that second over pick last season, the Ice Dogs picked up Ryan Robrick and he set franchise records for goals scored by a rookie. So Niagara, yes, missing out. I do feel uh, kind of bad for this team because this team has had some bad luck these last few years. They haven't been in the playoffs since 2019. And I know we've got the COVID years in there that kind of uh, skews things with the missing the playoffs, but still, uh, it's been a rough few years. They had the change of ownership. They had the off-ice drama uh, with uh, league investigations. And this year, with the coaching change, and it seemed like they're making progress, uh, but still ended up at the bottom of the Ontario Hockey League standings. But you got to like the pieces they have. I'm going to do a video uh, within the next week or two, just taking a look at the four teams that missed the playoffs and just looking at uh, how these teams are going to fare potentially 
going into next season because I think the Niagara Ice Dogs, they do have some decent pieces. Uh, it's just how does everything come together and how do they use that fourth overall pick here at the OHL draft? So that's how it all worked out when it came to the uh, draft lottery last night. The Western Conference now getting very fascinating with the young talent with Windsor and Sarnia picking one, two. Uh, that just adds to the drama in the West Division. Plus, you still have Michael Misa. He's draft eligible next season. So you're going to have the two number one picks over the last two, three seasons playing in the West Division. And then Schaefer playing with the Erie Otters. That's the last three first overall picks all in the Western Conference. So it's exciting. And I know this can help a franchise turn around, especially with the Windsor Spitfires, who had a very... Uh, lackluster season after finishing first in the Western Conference last year and the year before that losing in game seven in the OHL championship to the Hamilton Bulldogs so Windsor falling right off but I think this rebuild could turn around quickly you get this first overall pick playing with a guy like Liam Greentree and company and I think Windsor I think they could turn it around they should be a playoff team next year but we'll have to wait and see and I do I love the fact that the OHL is doing this draft lottery because it with the way it was before, the last place team would automatically get that first overall pick. By having the draft lottery, it kind of prevents teams from intentionally tanking, especially if we know there's a an exceptional status player that could be on the horizon or a player that is a sure thing number one pick. And uh, we see that in the NHL too, where they've got the, the draft lottery to limit teams from tanking. And uh, I think it works. And I, unfortunately, the Ice Dogs have not had the benefit of winning a draft lottery these last three seasons. Uh, but I do feel that uh, Niagara is on the right track. So let me know what you think down below. Who do you think uh, the Windsor Spitfires are going to pick first overall? I know I still have to do some research to figure out uh, these new players coming into the league next season, especially as a broadcaster. You want to be able to pronounce the names right. I might not have even pronounced any of the names right. I just said a few moments ago. So I apologize for the mispronunciation on those names. I will get better at that. Uh, but um it is an exciting time of year for those four teams. Now they can look to the future. They know where they're picking. The scouting teams are going to be digging deep. They're probably got teams right now at the OHL Cup as uh, that uh, tournament is about to wrap up. And uh, it's actually been an exciting tournament from uh, the highlights I've seen and from the reports I'm reading. Um, so uh, a lot of great talent on the horizon into the Ontario Hockey League. So again, remember to hit uh, like and subscribe. And oh, don't forget, the playoffs start tonight. OHL playoffs, first round. Uh, for the Barry Colts, they're not in action until tomorrow night. That's going to be down in Oshawa. I will be at that game and expect a full recap uh, from the Tributes Community Center tomorrow night. So, again, thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.